Hello everyone, I'm Kako Chrissy. Um, today I will show you this uh, Liangzhu, um, let's say it's a Huang, it's uh, the decoration piece, um, but also could be a tool, you know, used like this way. Um, actually, I have a similar design, more than two, in my kitchen, but uh, could be used as a tool. Um, we will take a deep look about this guy's design. And also today, I want to give you a rough guideline how to divide the Liangzhu jade by their time and uh, by the timeline. We can divide the early part and the later part of Liangzhu Jade. So you can have a rough guideline. Um, again, this is from my experience. Um, you can modify as is you, you learn this. Um, Liangzhu people use many kinds of jade, just like Hongshan culture they did. Um, back then they use all kinds of jade. But there's a rough rule of some. Like this kind of, you see, uh, is uh, not a translucent, but at the age, you may see slightly um, translucent Yes, inside is yellow greenish mixed. This some of a mixed material, some of a relatively pure. Mm, on the surface, it appears like a creamy uh, white color. That's the thing they archaeologists find out in the Yaoshan side, which is belong to early part of Liangzhu, uh, they use that kind of jade more. Mm, so like this, this with some yellow tongue uh, is still belong to this group. That's the jade material wise. Um, on the contrary, for the later part of Liangzhu jade, you will see many of them in the museum, those green, black, gray dish, those material, they use more often. And also for the decoration design-wise, early part of Liangzhu, they gave you a simple one design in the here in the center. Um, the later part will give you more of those. Uh, we see the tiny circle, the half a circle, those short lines design, full of a whole body that uh, lean towards the later part. Even in the later part of Liangzhu, we still can divide them early part of a late and the really end of a uh, Liangzhu culture's period design. They are slightly different. When we reach that bridge, uh, I will talk more. For now, you get a, a rough rub of some is uh, this kind of a jade, smoothly polished, white towards yellow, has a little bit of yellow tongue inside, and the design is simple. And also, if you look deep into the design, uh, later I show you by microscope the wheel, you will see this guy's design. Uh, you see they make a, a shallow relief, right? They grow in all those surrounding surface, make this design standing out. Even inside the design, you see here around the eyeballs, nicely shallow, sh um, hollowed in, inward. Here also, so make a on the flat piece. They make a design vivid. 
Um, that's their way to make. Um, you see this design, I haven't figured out what this notch means, but it look like this shape can be a tiger. Uh, in the early part of Liangzhu, even older than Liangzhu culture, there's a Mingjiatang culture. Archaeologists find out that it's like a this design. This the part is the tiger face. That's the tiger eyes. Just two tiger body connected like this shape. Mm, this design, I'm not sure. This could be a tiger tiger head, but by including this Liangzhu typical design in, and by this common jade material was using here, so there's uh, no doubt it's a Liangzhu piece. Okay, I will move on to the second part, show you the microscope view. All right, let's continue. You see this, uh, the eyes, and uh, it's very interesting. They even have a, a pupil to cover the out. And this part, this part, this part is higher than this part, and this part is higher than this. Uh, it's make eyes really standing out. If you touch it, maybe not easy to see. And you see, how they make uh, these uh, tiny short lines around uh, this uh, is eyes. You, you see this dent, dent, dent part? That's the tool they're using to lift the, those uh, tool marks. Um, in the early part of Liangzhu culture, um, we seldom see those uh, like a later part, the Liangzhu used those uh, rotary like a tool mark. Um, more like in this uh, Yaoshan part of uh, early part of Liangzhu, you, you will see the tool marks like this. You, you can see how much trouble they go through to dig out the, the each line. And imagine those lines are so tiny. Uh, I use this uh, most big uh, vision on microscope. Can see these lines. You see the edges lines there. I have no idea. Back to four or five thousand years ago, how people make those lines on the jade. Probably in the modern days, you can't even draw the line so tiny, so thin on jade, not to mention to curve on the jade. Anyway, mm, that's an amazing piece. Um, yeah, that's the, let's make it shorter today. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time.